Welcome to the first episode ever of Connecting Greeks. And the big man, my favorite guy, the most huggable guy in the universe. If you guys needed to know that, I'm telling you. <laughs> Angelo Tsarukas, all the way from Los Angeles. Say hello, Angelo. How are you? Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, hey, what's hey. Adi? Look at us. We're still, we haven't, uh, how do Greeks have a partnership and we haven't had a fight yet? That's because we're not it's, in person. Because uh, <laughs> you know why, you know why this is going to work, guys? You know why connecting Greeks works? Because we're connecting far away from each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're, we're not, we're a non-profit organization, so there's nothing to fight about. <laughs> we're non-profit. There's no money. So it's the only way we're going to get along here is there's no money. We're not making money. But we don't care. We're having a good time. So Angela, that's I don't care. You could have you could have all my money, Angela. I love you. Don't worry. It's all right. You can have some of my debt. He says that bastard owes me fifty euros. Because <laughs> <laughs> I went to one day. I used to go to Dar in Toronto. I go Calimera, and the guy would look at me going Ine. <laughs> Every time, you know, I call my auntie, whatever, and it's always the same thing. <laughs> Whoever's watching, this is just do do me a solid and just stay on the first two O's. I look hot. It's my regular social media. Don't go past that. Don't, don't go past that. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll put all your we'll put all your good stuff uh, on the video and on the podcast. So yes. Oh, please do, please do. Find the ones that have been really photoshopped. All these like natural beauty. Fuck that. No way. Give me my Photoshop. Give me my Facetune. I need all the help I can get. All of a sudden, I remember, I was like, I feel great. All of a sudden. Tut, 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 tut. One moment, please. Am I signy? Am I signy? Let I'm my makeup artist right here. At home, do you speak Greek or English? Papa Lex Opoulos. But I know, it's intimidating. 14 letters. It's not easy. People were unorganized and uneducated. I'm going to sound like that dad now. They were unorganized and uneducated until the Greeks, they show up there. <laughs> and they show these people how to live the life. It's okay. It's okay. You're Greek. It's okay. We want to laugh, maybe cry a little bit, maybe <laughs> argue a little bit. Just think of Sunday dinner at your house with all your family coming together. Can I just say, I hate fuckers. <laughs> what is this? Why? What? what? Lamb, you have a lamb and pastiche. Sandy come over eating out of me, and they're like, Oh my god, never had lamb like this. And then Greeks in their head go, Foy says the dubla. The worst, the worst, bamias. Oh, the I worst is bamias. I have, it's like it's like beans rolled in snot. And we had a nice conversation about her obsession with euros. My brother went to the bathroom, and he comes back, he goes, uh, Did you guys pay the bill yet, or should I go back to the bathroom? <laughs> and then they look at you and they go, Corta, Corta is right. I don't like Corta, forget it. Wait, you're you're a vegan and you don't know, like Corta? I know, even vegans don't eat Corta. <laughs> <laughs> I took my kids to Greece to eat Savlakia and all the relatives are now vegans and the guy ate bamias. I'm going, what kind of Greeks are you, mate? They go, we don't eat meat because the fats from the cows are killing the, the planet. And I said, oh yeah, what do vegans eat? Beans. What what do beans make you do? They make you fat. Kill the vegans! Go to Greece. You will never find lamb and pasticho. What kind of person are you? You need to get on a plane and you need to learn. How dare Ooh. you insult our food? Oh my God, you're chewing ah. skeletons of the dead. This is mm -hmm. a colonial thing. What? You know, my the, 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 the resin from the gum, that's what they chew for gum. So it was like when you chewed mastica, it was really hard and brittle and white. So for some reason, they said you're not allowed to chew gum at night. So is it I during? Would, why is it different during the day? I don't know. <laughs> you know, you whose fault this is, eh, Forti? Mine. Go. It's your fault. It's your fault. I love the enthusiasm from Forti. <laughs> it's another day we're gonna we're looking so. I think we said this before, it. but he's like the droopy dog of the uh, group here. What these I'm like? Yes, we're having, I'm so excited about today's episode. <laughs> My favorite spot in Greece 
Yeah, sorry, I was telling Foti to ask you. Oh, but I'll well, ask you directly. Foti froze on us. Why? You, about look, this, you were, he wasn't looking at me. He was looking at Anna. <laughs> he was looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair is looking really good, Foti. I got to tell you. Uh-huh. Have you noticed his hair? I think Foti is getting it styled or something. He's got that rockabilly thing happening. <laughs> I just want to say, two twos. Nice. Two, two, my style is changing up. Buddy, my style is changing you up. You shaved like show. the kids there. You got the nice hair quaffed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you need to let your hair grow again, Angelo. I think. Oh no! I, when my hair was down on my shoulders here, that, that said, monster whatever. mullet. There's like a tribe of Greek people roasting this person. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You're Greek. It's okay. Is it really? That's my point. Oh I think you convinced Adi. Oh my God, Adi. you guys are the best. I appreciate you <laughs> so much. And he clicked right into a Midwestern accent. I'm like, wow, that's really good. No wonder he's oh in my the God. I appreciate you so much, guys. Thank you for having me. I'm that's born right. in Australia, okay? My parents came from Northern Greece, from Florida. I love it. I've been born and raised. I went to Greek school. I, I hated Greek school. But, you know, I love the Greek spasmena. I go to a lab and I talk half English, half Greek. Then I don't care. I say to them, whoever I'm talking to, and they go, yeah, that's easy. <laughs> they love it. That is my daughter. <laughs> and it was so cute. It was so cute. One, two, three. Flyben schmeiben. That big bowl and a giant of a man, I make fucking kissing noises. Because <laughs> I ain't gonna fucking take the risk. Sarababits and Maidanos and like Barca instead of Trapeza and like Keki, like all these donuts. Yeah, Donut. 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 Where the donkey 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 donuts? Donkey donuts. My mom's. You know what my mom would do, Anna. She did. If you put one sh- shoe at uh, one padofla and the other padofla, it was bad luck. I almost got like kidnapped and in a really bad situation in Mykonos, so I'm a little bit. <laughs> in, in my opinion, people have the attention span of a goldfish. And I remember we went to a Greek night at a club, and the bouncer who was Greek was asking everybody before he let them in, Piao Mada, you say. <laughs> and I'm like, and everybody's saying stuff. And I was like, I have no idea about Greek soccer teams. So I'm trying to listen to who the guy in front of me. So the guy in front of me said, Panathinaikos, but I couldn't hear him very well. So I get to the front of the line. He's like, Piao Mada, you say. And I was like, Parthenas. <laughs> and he looked at me, he's like, Mom, mom will help you bury a body. Mom's there for you. I want to go to the top of the Berifania. Again, I'll take the photo of you to remember how you feel. Dimitra, how do you feel about them naming every variant of COVID after a Greek alphabet? Because this is really annoying me a lot. I want everybody you meet. They're descendants of Alexander. Of course, everyone is. You know what everyone... It's like... 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 You guys are on fucking drugs. You know that song? Desiderata? Listen to the dull and ignorant. They too have their story. Turns out, nah, nah, they don't. Shut the fuck up. Greeks in Greece have this intensified need to want to give you their opinion, <laughs> even though you haven't asked for it. On the flip side, okay, you'll go agree, you'll pay a couple times, then you'll hear later. Pigame afto do malaka poses for as plirosamo. Atoso tsikunis me afora utena tsips. He's going to be a great politician. <laughs> He's like, I, he doesn't answer the question if he doesn't That's like awesome. it. I like Next it. Question. Uh, this is a, a social statement. We live in a world of hesty this now, right? <laughs> Everybody shits their pants and they're hesty this. It's a mini Greek quiz. It's part of our <laughs> Malaka, man. <laughs> That's not most. Like, this quiz. was not <laughs> part of the deal. <laughs> Yeah, you dicks. Couple, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Find the, the positives of like this, connecting Have you guys. To. There you go. 
I've got two new friends today. I love it. For me, that's a beautiful mm -hmm. thing. You know what I mean? I mean, this, that, this I, is like this is like the peak of your career right here. So you should be happy. I love it. I love <laughs> it. You got, you got a lot of fans in Canada, especially my cousin Kathy <laughs> in Toronto. Yes, Katerina. Katerina, and she goes to me. You know Costas Mandalore, and I remember he was named People's Magazine 50 Most Beautiful People in the World. And I think there's a lot of Greek women that want to lick you like a fungical in Canada. And my cousin said, she said to me, do you want more football though enough to So I go, he's a good actor. What, what, what was it like with your family and stuff? You know, it's, I mean, you seem like a humble guy to me, but you know, that's a big honor to have, like, you know, being named 50 most beautiful people out of yeah. like a million. You know, yeah, you know what sucks about that? I remember the first one, I did it twice. And the first one was 1991 or something. And I think Mel Gibson was on the cover. And I love Mel Gibson. So I'm like, if Mel Gib good enough for Mel Gibson, I'm glad I'm in this issue. <laughs> then the next year, they didn't call me. I said, what happened? I got ugly all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is, I'm excited about this. I'm really excited about it. All the, the Wellesley girls go out there and they give free kisses to runners <laughs> passing by. <laughs> Well, I'm, gonna, I'm joining the marathon. <laughs> I, mean, I keep my clothes on, I dance, I do pop, and I like flowers. And we love some backstage passes whenever you get <laughs> when you're, <laughs> when, when you're with Absolutely. When, when you're touring with Adi Yunos and 50 Cent, we, uh, we want to come. <laughs> Traveling companion, my daughter gives me carrots. Uh, that's so cute. So I bring my when she was four, she gave this to me. I, he, he comes with me everywhere I go, a little caroto. She goes, what's his name, Olivia? She goes, carrot. So I look at carrots sometimes going, is this funny? And I realize I'm losing my mind. He's a ass person. Ride the wave. Ella Opa Travel is the greatest name I've ever heard. Who for a week spent $25 million in Mykonos. He brought camels and belly dancers on the beaches with tiki torches. Guy, the Greeks were like, posa de sodepsi? And I, I still have relatives who don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uzo or Tsipuro? Tsipuro. Tsipuro. That's the job. Yeah. <laughs> I moved out of out of home at the tender vulnerable age of 27. Um, I was a pioneer. And um, <laughs> all right. And, 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 and that day when I moved out of home, my mom was, I lost my father when I was very young. So it was just my mom at that stage. She was distraught. And I had my I was carrying my suitcase and she said, ah. Oh, Σήμερα είναι πολύ δύσκολη η μέρα, γόρι μου. Ένα είσαι καλά, ρε μαμά. Όταν εσύ ήσουν 22 χρονών, έφυγε για την Αφρική από την Αθήνα. Α, it's not the same thing. <laughs> και τη λέει, μου λέει, Who is going to look after you? Πώ θα σε προσέχει. Και λέω, Μαμά, I'm going to be okay. She says, Ποιο θα σε μαγειρεύει. And I took a look and I went, Μα, I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> και she said, Αλλά τα βράδια θα κοιμηθεί αλλού, όχι στο σπίτι. And I looked at her and I went, Ma, I am moving from the fifth to the ninth floor of the same apartment block. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You're Greek, it's okay. See, my dad calls me, he's like, who is it with these black kids of this tragedy? Ellen, so magazine. My neighbor's an actor, and being Greek, poor guy, he's doing an audition. He's a he, he's on the show Hollywood. So the Pao Mesa Torah. So he said to me, he's, he's my neighbor, Frank. He goes, dude, you're really loud. I got to record something. <laughs> and he said, Omalak, Omalakas, he's bragging because he got an audition and I don't have one. <laughs> so it doesn't <laughs> matter. He's <laughs> 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 right, man. <laughs> so there's a one where all the Abzonas are walking on the Vuno there. With the Acropolis. It's such an iconic. It's like they're going to fucking war. We need to do better. We need to support each other. We need to get back to our roots. We've all been through this, and that's just like our upbringing. We're not very different. We, you know, even though we're all in different parts of the world, I think we've all had a very similar backstory. You know, I see all these other cultures, which God bless them, but we Greeks have a lot to say <laughs> and give and do. And I think you guys are really re great representation of that. So thank you as well. Thank you guys. And um, despite the fact that Ange was part of this, I enjoyed myself. <laughs> <laughs>